good for me. <laughs> I won't have enough money to run <laughs> for advertising, but if I just travel on a road trip and do the old bully pulpit, <laughs> I, think <I'll, laughs> you don't I think I'll be able to do it. How about for Zach? I can run for president. Zach, versus mm, you're not black. You have to be born in America, I thought. Born in a base. Oh, you're right. I forget which president was born like that. One of our presidents was already like was born overseas, but was on a U.S. base. Obama. That's not true. <laughs> Obama was born in uh, Muslim. He was born in Muslim. Yep. Okay. Well, welcome back to the Generous Podcast. Oh, hey. You always do this to us. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> it's been a while. Too long. It's been three months. Why do we always say it's been a while? Like it's it's cliche at this Honestly, point. Honestly, can that it's been a while? Again. Can that be our new slogan or something? It's been or? a while. It's been a while because our upload schedule is so inconsistent that... Can we try to keep it consistent? No. Okay. That's not going to happen. We can try, but we will fail. That's probably true. Try, try. We will fail, and then we will try once again eventually. Just whenever we feel like it. Well, we got we to gotta do it more soon because I'm leaving eventually. Yeah, but I we mean, can still do it over our... Discord or something Not like for the eight weeks I'm gone. I mean, we haven't recorded in eight weeks. That's and uh, <laughs> this summer we're probably going to record like that's true. A bunch, and yeah. then just save them up, and then like post that's, them. That's why the year. I'm not doing any camps this summer because I want to hang out as much as possible. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm doing. I'm doing of kind of a lot of stuff this yeah, summer though. Totally mission good. camp? Wait, no, mission trip. Uh, I'm doing. Alliance, I'm man. not going on the missions trip. I don't think. Where's the mission oh. trip at? It's over my birthday, Alex. So you can be a good person. My eighteenth birthday. birthday. I agree with that. Are you going to um, club rodeo with Austin that day? Probably not, but I want to like spend time with my family on my eighteenth birthday. Like Um, my brother's eighteenth birthday, he went skydiving. That is pretty cool. So like, where's the mission trip? Indianapolis. So not that far. Yeah. What's a mission trip? Mm -hmm. What do you do? They're gonna Uh, preach to Mexicans and stuff. Well, say yeah. Who are you gonna convert? The Mexicans. I, I really don't know much of the details. <laughs> but I thought mission trip like you go to a third world country that doesn't know what God is. No, mission trip is just going anywhere to evangelize. It doesn't have to be overseas. I've been to Indianapolis. It sucks. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Well, like the entire thing is free. So like of course I'm gonna go do that. Cheap skate. Cheap skate? Wait, is it skate? I have something in my Cheap mouth. Cheap steak. When, <laughs> when, when you go to Outback Roadhouse and it's just really dry. <laughs> Dang, that's one cheap steak. Like that chicken we had tonight for dinner. Yeah. So, yeah. uh... Would you close the door? Like we asked you the... to? Finally. That Some our... people's children's brother. That was our guest star, Close Curtis the door! Whitley. That was Curtis Whitley. So much of his brother in him and Andy. But I still like Kurt. I like Kurt's Kurt one of my too. favorite. Kurt person. is the man to. Lately, you've been he's saying so a lot good. of blasphemy about him. He's Jesus. What? Say yeah. that again. He's Jesus. That's what we've been saying. Okay, I don't know about that, but he's close to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kurt has blasphemy too. Okay, you know what? No, no, because he is Christian, and Christian means little Christ. He is Catholic. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he's no longer a Christian. Wait, anymore. he's Catholic? Isn't he? Yeah, because Jesse's Catholic. He and, is? Yeah, they go to the same church. Like, I think Robbie and Jesse go to the same church. I, I don't know. No, they don't. Je- Jesse's different. I don't think Jesse's Catholic, dude. Mm-mm. Really? I always thought he was Catholic. No, I no, he's not Catholic. You know why? Oh. You know why we think that? Because literally an entire group, like Robbie, Andy, are Catholic. I mean, so that's Jesse exactly why. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm in that group, too, but... I, you, but you know, like the people we don't hang out in band anymore. Yeah, Devin Murphy. Okay, no. I mean, he just believes we're in a simulation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Why, well, hello, Gavin. Right. Well, well, well. Junior. If it isn't our newest guest uh, to the podcast, come on, Gavin come. Wright. You either come in. Or he, you don't. I didn't even realize we were recording in this room, but he just barged right in. So, uh, oh, God. the reason why we uh, are recording in a random room now in the school and Gavin walked in. Well, this room is not a random uh, room. It is my safe haven, okay? It's also Christian's okay. panic chamber. Okay. That's um, true. <laughs> it's production week for the play. Yeah. 
That's how far we've not recorded for. Yeah. Long. I think the last podcast we did was about guys and dolls. <laughs> oh We're already on our next play. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Why yeah, are you guys just doing a lot. podcast? Because we have nothing to do. And we haven't yes, been we haven't able to meet up. Yeah, we haven't been able to meet like or anything, but weeks. none of us are busy in Act 2, so... Why don't we do the forensic meet? Oh, wait, we don't have time. Because it's way too loud. Yeah. And we also just don't have time. Also, a bunch of weird, random people would walk up. I don't want to say like, Hey, what are you guys doing? Can I join? <laughs> Probably not <laughs> that voice. Is, okay. Can I join? Can I? Please? Please? Talk oh, <laughs> pretty please? The guy comes up. <laughs> He's just so accurate. He though. starts talking about how gays have certain smells. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to hear about this. Oh, okay. Who wants to tell the story? I, Alex? I think Alex. Alex I don't remember it. it. Like, I'm terrible. Okay. I'll, I guess okay. I so, we were all walking as a group, and there was just a group behind us. And this guy that we are presuming is gay, I think it's fair to presume. He. He asked if I was gay. <laughs> yeah, so it's fair to presume. He's gay. They were literally talking about how, why gay people are, know, like, who's gay and how they're attracted to each other. And it's because gays, like, they they distribute a certain scent. Yeah, we overheard him talking to those girls. <laughs> and the, the, the girl said, uh, that's okay. We have an editor. No, he'll just, he'll bleep that right out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh. Why? Why are people like this? This is like, this is like. Oh, my gender is an anal toaster. <laughs> like oh, yeah, we overheard this girl, and she was like, you know, gay people, you know, they just have certain smell protrudes from them, and it, it allows the other gay people to know what they smell like. And I'm like, what? What is, is it just oh, gosh, folks? <laughs> well, well, there. It looks like we have another guest star, Cole Wait, Carruthers. You two, come back here. Is it Wait, Cole can... It's Cole Carruthers. Is this a podcast? Wait, we are doing a podcast. Smell rainbows? What are you so we're gonna ask Zach if he was gay. Mm-hmm. We're pretty sure it's because Zach has a certain smell. And if I have the certain smell, that means I'm gay and I don't know it. <laughs> yeah, you smell like. Wait, but if you smell, smell like you're gay. If you can smell, I already it, then know you're I'm gay. gay because have you heard of me and Zach? Oh, you're okay, right. So Just Zach is gay. Big <laughs> Wait, but I mean, me and Alex are also gay. I don't smell you. I smell you a lot. Interesting. Well, Wait, so then you're obviously this, Wait, this, this is that just, work. This is just <laughs> stupid. What if we're all just hallucinating? What if we're all just gay? Imagine if Are Kevin's you... mic just turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this man has a so mic bad. on. Okay, so uh, it's, hey, it's so terrible. by the time this gets uploaded, I'm fairly certain the play will be over, and I hope none of you watched it because it's very, very boring. Oh yeah, it sucks. The hell? It's the cheesiest play I've ever seen in my life. I hate my outfit. You look like a <laughs> <in the> movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's your profile list? What? Hey, Mr. Road Armor, <laughs> uh, if you're listening, uh, remember that time when uh, we all dressed up as Jews and it was for Yom Kippur? Yep, this is where I'm. Yep, just think happy thoughts and forget what I said like five seconds ago. What? I like Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler, Fiddler on the Roof yeah. was a good show. <laughs> I thought you were both going to continue about- the same sentence. <laughs> That was like one of my favorite high school memories. I wasn't even here. Fiddler on the Roof was amazing. I'm gonna go. Okay. okay. Thank well, you for guest starring. Thank you for the starring on uh, the podcast. Yeah, yeah we'll have you as a full guest one day. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Zach, remember to tell them about our hacky sack incident. Will do. Have fun, Dad. And how many bucks? Okay. Hacky sack incident. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, wait. Uh, me and Cole were playing hacky sack, and then uh. He hit it really high up, like it was parallel with my head, mm-hmm. and uh, it was on my left side, which I'm right footed. And instead of either using my shoulder or like my head, like a reasonable person, I tried using my foot. But I tried using my right foot, not my left foot. And uh, so you know how uh, in football, when the kicker kicks off the ball, it looks like he like does like a bicycle kick, kind of, yeah. and like yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did that. But then I kicked my feet out from underneath me, and I was parallel to the ground, and I just landed on my back. And uh, so, was it like the classic Wait, Charlie that Brown cartoon where, like, he kicks the football? Yes, but the it girl looked lets just the like that. Just it looked just back. like the Charlie Brown uh, cartoon. Okay, hey, middle school just did Charlie Brown. Did they really? Yeah, the musical. I was what they did. Was they it did good? A musical? It was not good. <laughs> it was not good. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this play is really bad. I hope you didn't watch it.
I don't say it's bad. It's just well, it's not boring. bad. It's boring. Like we all, we all, we're doing really good. Well, it's because everyone has one scene, so you don't have to memorize anything. Yeah, it's just a bunch of individual scenes put together into one show. I think the only person that hasn't memorized is Morgan. That hasn't? Yeah. Really? Is she like? She's is the she... only one that's messed up on her lines. Really? Yeah. Huh. Your scene partner. What's wrong, Alec? Huh? I don't know. Like, it's hard for me because, like, I can't really say much because she leads most of the conversation. Yeah, most of your lines are, what? What? I don't understand. Huh? What? <laughs> uh, I sent a picture of you kissing Morgan to Maggie. Uh, why? Well, yeah, you know why. I don't. I don't either. It's because you're kissing Morgan. Well, yeah. But like... It's going to be like the photo of Alec and Abby kissing during oh. all shook up last year <laughs> and like how it's that made it, on the internet it, forever. it made it into the yearbook oh no did it actually? yeah I didn't know oh that. man i remember um cole and abby were dating at the time too yep and i remember that were people pressuring cole to kiss yeah. abby before that did happened they ever? i think so huh. okay oh Hi, well, JC. it's time for a new Come guest star. is she your uh, first female yeah, is the, no, no riley, riley. Uh, close, it, yeah. close the door, um, woman. So uh, we have a new guest. Uh, behind JC the men. Clark. Behind the men. We're not sexist here. We just we're not sexist in. here. We just believe that men are should stand in the okay. <laughs> well, right. 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 She should stand in the back. Usually the guys are supposed to stand in the back. Just no, like she stands in the back. Parts. We're sitting. She I know. But like, usually guys black. are in the back. Yeah, but nothing yeah, to do with she was a woman. No one cares. Yeah. Um. So anyway, what were we talking about exactly? I have no, no idea. Uh, okay, uh, play bad. So, uh, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> you guys Jeez. met monks. They're not monks. Oh, cult. <laughs> you met a cult. So, uh, I was going to bring that up. This happened a long time ago. This was over a month ago. This was uh, during winter break. Yeah, it was during winter break? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. We met a cult. <laughs> kind of oh. rare. Me and Alex. <laughs> me, we met the Masons. Me, Alex, Isaac Lebo, my brother, and Riley. We met a cult outside of a Ross dress for less. No, we were getting out of Ross looking for a bunch of weird socks. Of and then Ross. they are outside of Kohl's. Oh, they're we outside of Kohl's. Them, okay, yeah. but like. Oh, it was what weird. Want to like... talk about it? So, like, they're called the World Mission Society Church of God. I'm look this up. And we all automatically knew that they were really weird when they proclaimed that they were the only church in the world that professed what they believed in. The only church in if the world. If you just type in world mission, it automatically fills in. Really? Okay, bye, Jay-Z. Jay-Z. All of our guest stars are appearing for like a minute and a half. The movie. World Mission Society or Society Church of God is a new religious movement that began in South Korea? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it. Right, let's see, we got more guests. Hi. Uh, it's Clayton and uh, Christian. Can I post on the camera? Yeah, uh, there's uh, the camera. Uh, I mean, you okay. can post on me if you want. Ah, uh, that's what's up. Hey. Yeah. Hi, Christian. Those are really good, yeah. actually. Woo. Thank you, Alex. Wow, they're like okay. a mountain. Okay, here's the like after like, wow. founder... Yeah. Ah Song Hong died in 1985. The church expanded its activities to other parts of the world and began to use use of a name world. That's Mission so Society. weird. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're good. we got another one. Okay. Well, I love it. Yo, Kip. Kip's here too. Kip. Okay. So uh, why this is so freaking weird is because okay, so we met this cult outside of the Ross Dress for Less, and then uh, they started like talking to us and like, yes, yeah, so, <laughs> but okay. So at first I thought they were just Christians. Okay. They're like talking about God and they were talking about the Bible and they're using the Bible as a reference. And I'm like, okay, yeah. And then they said, uh, the Holy Father, um, the Holy Mother, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Mother. My apologies. But uh, yeah, they start talking about Heavenly Mother. And we're like, hold up, what do you mean, Heavenly Mother? And they're like, oh, we believe that if there's a God the Father, there's a God the Mother. I don't understand why they wouldn't think it's just Mary in the first place, but no, they create like okay. their own entire different entity. The church believes in God the Mother and God the Father. Yeah, that's what we just said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this right and now. And like yeah. they said so many baloney things, like, uh, um, we, you, you shouldn't celebrate uh, like holidays like Easter because like bunnies they. They don't even lay eggs. <laughs> he said what? that. Yeah. He said that. Uh, he said. Uh, One time he said, um, 
you know, Santa, you shouldn't follow Christmas because Santa, when you uh, rearrange the letters, it's spelled Satan. <laughs> yeah, they said that. And they're like, they, they're like, yeah, don't worship, like, don't, don't celebrate these holidays. They have a leadership okay? conference. They have a leadership conference? When? I, I need to go back to that. <laughs> anyway, so like, yeah, they basically were spitting about no, like <laughs> spitting out a bunch of baloney about uh, God the Mother, and right before, <laughs> right before they finished talking to us, they're like, "We believe that there's a God the Father. We believe that there's a God the Mother, and we believe that she is living in South Korea today. Want to know why? <laughs> Come to our church and find out." It was the most clickbait thing I have ever heard. Yeah. They no, have... how they introduced themselves to us was very click clickbaity <laughs> too. Do you remember how they did with the running? Yeah, the, one of the guys just ran up saying, hey, guys, do you want to know why I'm so happy today? It's because my Lord Jesus Christ. I was like, okay, these guys are pretty energetic. I kind of want to hear what they have to say. But then um, me, Zach, and Isaac would ask those guys a bunch of questions. <laughs> but they would always dodge it every single time by, like, shaking their hand and saying, oh, that's a great question, brother, and just moved on <laughs> to the next topic. I never it's even like, addressed it. It was like uh, Isaac asked, oh, what did he ask? Oh, what questions? Oh, jeez. Uh, it was such. A I think he just ago. asked. Um, I think something about Mary. Like, yeah. so do you think Mary is the heavenly mother? Yeah. Like, so do you think Her Mary is the heavenly mother? And the guy was like, ah, "Bro, that's such a good question, brother. Let me shake your hand. Let me shake your hand." And then he, <laughs> then he just dodged it. He didn't Stop. even talk about it. Who wants to go to South Korea this summer? I mean, we thought about Japan, but that kind of failed. <laughs> let's go to a leadership conference. It's let's, in South Korea. Let's see, a total of 532 university students from 228 universities go to Korea from U.S., Germany, Peru, India, South Africa. Uh, they all, they're all all attending during their vacation. So, like, these kids are going on vacation. What the heck? And then they go there. Why? That's so dumb. <laughs> they share brotherly and sisterly love beyond their national boundaries and develop their competence as future leaders it's weird though when talking to them because they knew what they were talking about but they also didn't at the same time which was very telling what a cult is like mm -hmm. because they have their bibles but they marked which places to go to so they they had a system of preaching their gospel to us so at first they go with this first and then um it would say go to Galatians five twenty right after that. I actually found three like combined verses. Really, it's um we receive the blessings of salvation before others with a sense of responsibility. Let's diligently deliver the message of the new covenant, the promise of salvation to all people who are in fear of all kinds of disasters, economic difficulties, war, climate change, and so on. Said mother. Um, Wait, what's see you later? Definitely mother talked about climate change. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's in the Bible. And apparently that's Colossians. in Colossians, Ecclesiastes, and Romans. <laughs> no, they combine Colossians, Ecclesiastes, Colossians again, and Romans all together. But climate change is in there? Say that part again. Um, all kinds of disasters from economic difficulties, wars, climate change, and so on. Okay, climate change is not in the Bible. <laughs> I don't know how they got that. Well, the mother said so, so it must be right. I guess we have to. Mother is always right. Mother knows best. Mother knows That's best. That's what Disney has taught me. Okay. Well, what about the evil stepmother in uh, That's... Cinderella? Well, the oh, mother I thought Entangled you Mother was Entangled was also, was also evil. evil. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> That's what their song's from. I forget that movie exists. It's, it's, I actually like that movie. It is a good one. I think it's one of the better ones. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely a cult. Okay, so yeah, we met a cult. That's pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything else happen over winter break? Dude, I'm going to stop. We stole with a barrel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you should say anything that will actually get you thrown in jail. Um, It's a barrel. This being said, outside of school hours, uh, we can't get in trouble. Even though okay? we're in school. Off school property. We are off of school property. We've already said where we are. We are not in the school. <laughs> we moved locations. We stole a barrel. <laughs> it was just vibing, okay? It was, no one was using it. I think, so you, me, Caleb, and Austin were at the football field playing spike ball one day. And then we got sidetracked, and we found one of the barrels over there. And we saw the ramp by the ropes course. And then I decided, hey, we should get the barrel and roll down the ramp and jump over like you do, like they do in Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> so we just rolled down it a bunch of times 
And then I almost got a concussion when we were at the thing because I was rolling down the ramp and then Austin Randolph comes by, hits the barrel really far. And like, it makes me like hit the ground almost when my head banged on the ground. And then um, later on, I uh, decided. So this isn't a barrel. But these are traffic cones. If it's your second offense stealing a traffic cone, you can spend up to seven years in prison. What? No way. No, it's... Which carries what? a maximum sentence of seven years in prison in your second year. Ian, now you're making us, like, aware of this. Now uh, you're making us aware of this crime. Wait, we... St- but that's, that's cones, oh, not barrels. Oh, Jason's back. Wait, so that was an actual crime? Yeah, it's actual crime. How no, I don't think stealing a barrel is. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, oh, it's, it's just a barrel. It's just a barrel. It was a barrel, Ian. It's, no one uses a lousy barrel. Just a just a barrel. It wasn't even full. I feel like you're I both mean, about to go New Yorker. I mean, hey, it's just a barrel. What are you talking about? Hey, it's just we're a barrel. Man. It. It's just a barrel. It's not a traffic cone. Why would you think it's a traffic cone? I never said it was. Get out of here. <laughs> you too, JC. Yeah, yeah, get out. Okay. Have fun. I like your shirt. Why? Your oh. eyebrows are on fleek tonight. That's my. That's false. This podcast is over. <laughs> so like uh we stole a barrel <laughs> and then one night uh we were spending uh we were spending a night i think at your place or something like that and then um we decided to go out in the middle of the country one night and find a dirt hill because actually it was right next to ian's house yeah yeah me and alex went out it was like 12 30 in the morning <laughs> and we just rode down a hill just roll down the street. Yeah. <laughs> You're so like, lucky my grandfather wasn't we out just, there. Yeah, we rolled all the way down the freaking street. He uh, saw you. He would have we, When we got back to my house, my brother's still awake. He was like, hey, guys. You guys hungry? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we went out. Uh, it was like 1 in the morning at this time. We went to Walmart first. And uh, I brought my crusading helmet <laughs> to Walmart. We were just messing around in there. We we're gonna buy snacks, then, but we didn't buy anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got a Teen and Ninja Turtle arcade. Oh yeah, we were selling arcade games. Teen, uh, Teen and T game, whatever they're called, and uh, Teen and Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we're playing that, and uh, <laughs> Alex found it. He started playing it. Turns out it was a game from me and my brother's childhood that we played back when like I was five and he was like eight or seven or something. Like mm-hmm. it was so much fun. Like we just felt so much nostalgia. So like we ended up playing that for another thirty minutes. No, it was like an hour. An though. hour? Yeah, because we, we were done at 3, 3 10 or something like that. We got there at 2. We left the Walmart at like 3.10. You're like those people that literally get their lawn chairs in, go sit in front of a TV at Walmart, and just like, <laughs> and then, oh, what's uh, the movie on? Yeah. Oh, Austin bought Mountain Dew there. And then we went to the, the girl at the checkout, and I had my helmet on. And this girl, like, she obviously thought, obviously thought it was weird that I had my helmet on, but she didn't even question it. <laughs> she was like, I, like I was recording a video for my Snapchat story, and like, because I thought it'd be funny, I had my helmet on at Walmart at three in the morning, and she was just like, "Why does he have his phone out? Why is he recording?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Really? That's the question you're asking?" <laughs> That's the question. Have you polished your helmet yet? Yes. Okay. Um, Swagger Souls made a tutorial on how oh, to yeah. clean your <laughs> crusading helmet, so I watched that. And I cleaned it. Cause the door just, yeah, it's moving. Yep. I'm scared. Cole's oh. back. Hi, Cole. Can you get in here? Is it over? The door? Uh, they're on uh, Gavin and Emerson. Oh, crud. It's almost over. Yeah. Morning, boys. All right. So, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then after we left Walmart, uh, we tried getting freaking McDonald's, okay? <laughs> because the drive through is supposed to be open after midnight. It's supposed to be open 24 hours. So we went to like four different <laughs> McDonald's locations, and none of them were open. Why? Well, no, no. Uh, the uh, the drive through is supposed to be open twenty four hours. Oh no, they still don't. Do yeah, I know. Yeah, no. Yeah, anyway, so uh, we a- Alex wanted Burger King though, and of course the first one we went to was like the drive through was open. Mm-hmm. So Alex got his nuggets, but me and my brother Who we didn't want nuggets Burger King. from Burger King. Dude, hey, okay, they have cheap. an amazing deal: ten nuggets. piece nuggets for a buck forty nine. I got fifteen nuggets that night. You were a fat boy. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so me and my brother, we're still convinced that we'll find a McDonald's. And uh, as we're driving around, we do end up finding McDonald's. Mm. Uh, but, like, it was really far away. It was on the east side of town. Like, in the very sketchy part of Wichita, we found a McDonald's that was open. Just because, yes. Oh, okay. Just because we wanted... 
McDonald's at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. And, yeah. oh, and then we pulled up the drive-thru. I had my helmet on. Mm. And, what did uh, I think there? Well, it was like some teenage guy working it. And he was like, oh. <laughs> he was just laughing. Do you remember um, why we went to Walmart the um, first time that day? To find cat? <laughs> yeah, to find cat. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all are if y'all are subscribed, you probably heard a, a story from one of the other podcasts about this girl named Cat <laughs> that Alex tried to date. I think Alex was true love. He, he tried asking on her date. It didn't work. I know. Anyway, uh, I went to the Walmart in Goddard one day, and I saw her there. I didn't talk to her or anything because I thought it'd be weird. But I saw her there, and I told Alex about it. And then, like, later that week, we went three separate times to that Walmart to look for her <laughs> to see if we'd just randomly find her in Walmart. I remember I was joking around trying to, like, uh, pick up her scent like a cat would. And then we would also – we were in the Walmart just saying, here, kitty, here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, here, kitty, kitty. kitty. <laughs> if I was a Walmart worker, I'd be really terrified. I know. Uh, the only Walmart worker we ran into was Elijah Giltner. And that's right. He told us he did not see her. So I know. It's I don't really know her. Well, he doesn't. Okay. We said, uh, "Have you seen a like cat? Five foot three girl with have you seen brown a hair? Feline goes by hair. the name of Cat. She probably thought you were talking about the movie. I think it was before think, it came out. Uh, I think yeah. Yeah, it was before it came out. We saw cats. Oh, we saw cats. We, that was a terrible That's a decision. really good segue into the next conversation. <laughs> okay, so we saw cats, and then like two weeks later, we saw 1917. That made me happy. That was cats the musical. Oh, oh my god! I gosh. really hope that's our musical next. Year. <laughs> no, <laughs> I hear the musical Mr. itself Robert, is actually pretty good. No, that's what, the musical itself. I hear is very good on yeah, Broadway, I hear which it's still on Broadway. Really? So, Dude, imagine going into the Navy. Oh. Oh. Get out. Zach, That's such a good movie. At the same time? Literally ranked as one of the Cool, best you're not allowed on the decade. podcast ever it's again. Yeah, yes. Good. No, Parasite was... Get Out was number one. Yeah, yeah. On um, no, ranked movies of Have the Have you decade. seen Parasite yet, Zach? Nope. One of the best movies I've ever seen. But do you remember uh, when we watched Cats? We went to McDonald's before, and we were just getting food. But um, we were just chilling, waiting for the food. And then uh, there are two cop cars in the parking lot yeah. just arresting one guy. And then, like, five minutes later, another cop car comes in. And he's, like, blocking traffic yeah. in the parking lot, too. Another five minutes, another cop car comes. There are four cop cars at one McDonald's arresting one person at the same time. The thing is, we're pretty sure another one went because there was another one coming down the street while we finally got out. On the yeah, right when we left, there is another cop trying to turn in. It's so they're so inefficient. I know. And it's hilarious. Yeah, um, Alex's be um, other best friend, Joe, um, his manager was kind of getting pissed because yeah. all the business was being halted from McDonald's. <laughs> they were literally <laughs> walking all the traffic. Like, yeah. you couldn't use the drive through <laughs> It was so funny. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We, we saw cats. Yeah, what's your favorite part about cats? <laughs> uh, uh, remember when all their tails just like, you? When like, like they're like all telescope? in the gymnasium theater thing, yeah, and they're all having that midnight dance. They're like having a spasm, like because the moon came out. It was like it was such a sexual dance too. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, it was so weird. The movie it felt like there was a lot of testosterone, and estrogen in there. Yeah, one of my favorite parts was when um, just the CGI in general, because for like all like the grandma cat, um. Her hands were normal cat human hands. Human No. Or no, normal human hands. A lot of them had just had normal human hands, normal human feet. Mm-hmm. And they had toes, too, which yeah. was super weird. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. They didn't have claws or paws or They anything. didn't even have, like, the ballet shoes that cover it. They yeah. just had toes. It was so weird. And so, so you can tell some of them were just CGI on human toes. One of the most horrifying things was when it, the Idris Elba cat... He just stripped naked <laughs> from his coat, and it actually looked like he was butt naked. I've never, I've never, like, I think Israel Elbra is hot. Like, he's a good-looking man. You gotta admit, he should have been James Bond, the next black one. Yeah. Instead of the woman. I've never thought in my day of my life, like, I need to see that man strip. Oh, I'm man. so glad I never have to see it again. I think I'm, um, are you smelling something right now, Ian? Or, Zach, are you smelling something off of Ian? Oh no. Can you both smell it? I can't smell it. I can't anything. smell anything. Okay, so shut up. 
I, don't know, I feel like Zach is smelling something. I feel like <laughs> since Alex brought it up, I feel like Alex can smell he something. He obviously can smell something. Whoever smelt it, no, he not did not dealt it. So. But you, you did. Smell so it. you just admitted that you smelt it. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's what I'm saying. Got you, boy. I don't. Oh, jeez. I don't think so, man. Okay. Well, have you seen 1917, Zach? Nope. Oh wait, why did I say no? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's yeah, one of my a best movies. Amazing movie. I said that about Parasite too. Probably but... one of the best movies I've seen in theaters. I wish in my life. Were like that. That's like one of the movies you have to see in theater, or mm. else you won't fully appreciate it. Like watching it at home. That's like Quiet Place. Like I've tried to watch Quiet Place at home, mm. but there's just always Quiet Place noise. Part Two. I'm so excited. Ooh, they released the second so trailer. Good. They did, did it? I don't want to watch too much because like... second trailer gives nothing away, and I'm happy about it. Okay. I'm always worried about that with yeah. movie trailers with them so, revealing too much. I've actually there's actually a system. Third and fourth trailers usually like give a little quite a bit about plot. Mm-hmm. So never watch after a second trailer. Okay. Another big news. Um, Star Wars, The High Republic. I heard about that. I I'm, I'm excited. It's set two hundred years before the uh Skywalker so, saga starts. It's not a movie. It's not a show. It's all books right now. It's all books. Mm-hmm. But what they're hoping is going and starting to create characters that people want to see in movies and shows. Because mm-hmm. that's that's the period I've always wanted to see, just Jedi. I, uh, I just learned, learned about this today, but there's like an Old Republic too. Yeah, that's so like what thousands. it is. No, yeah. I, thought, I thought the High Republic and Old Republic are two it different things. Thing. Well, okay, I was reading one article that said like the Old Republic took place like a thousand years I may years be before. wrong about that, but... Like, it took place a thousand years before Skywalker Saga and had, like, lots of different other stories. I was like, just the most confusing thing, if you look at, like, stuff from the Old Republic, they still use clones. Do they really? They, they're not, like, um, our clones, but they have clones. Okay. And a lot of their armor is the same. Huh. Well, because they've always used the exact same armor and the same yeah. ships. It's just what they do. So I've always been confused about that. Because I used to play the Star Wars Old Republic like um, video game. Mm-hmm. So I was always confused, like, what time period am I actually in? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited for that. Hey, guys. Yo. What? Dang, rehearsal's over. Yeah. I th- Okay, honestly, I believe, like, these 30-minute podcasts are better. We never had them before. Yeah. yeah. So I want to – I think this is good. I think it's good. I, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's pretty short, but pretty sweet. So I think more people can listen to them then. Yeah. Okay, so, uh... Alex, yeah. get us out of here. Okay. Um, no, don't pick us up. I meant by, like, talking. Well, this was the Degenerates Podcast. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Zach Randolph. I'm Ian Nabla. I'm Alex Oss. Uh, we're starting an Uno channel. Just kidding, not an Uno channel, but an Uno segment. We're going to just be playing Uno. I have a face cam. We're going to be playing Uno, and it'll be recorded, and we're going to post it, and we're just going to be playing a lot of freaking Uno, because Uno is my new favorite game in the world. Goodbye. I love you all.